Our special report tonight is about the growing biotech industry in this region. It's grown so much there's a big shortage for space for companies that want to set up here. The decision of AstraZeneca to move its global headquarters to Cambridge has boosted the industry further. In the east there are 780 biotech companies employing 18,000 people. But as more pile in, there's a warning the shortage of space could force some firms abroad. It's amazing how quickly biotech startups can grow. Timeab was born six years ago at the Babram Research Campus near Cambridge. It develops medicines for cancer and infectious diseases. Already it's moved premises once and created a hundred jobs, expanding into this new building on the campus. But before long, it will need more space. Um, we had a really good start of space um, when we needed it. Um, this building became available just when we needed it. Um, in the next few years, we'll need probably twice as much space. And, and then, it's, then it's a question of where do we find that? Builders are busy at Babram trying to keep up with demand for space. £76 million of mostly government money has been spent here over the last decade. We are full um, and uh, we are turning down companies who'd like to come here, early stage companies. I think uh, with AstraZeneca coming, that's clearly going to make this a more challenging environment. Uh, we should do everything we can to ensure that we can support and grow these companies for uh, the benefit of us all. Signs of the biotech boom are all over Cambridge, not just the AstraZeneca building site near Addenbrooke's, where its new global headquarters will soon be based. The US genomics firm Illumina is building a European headquarters at Granter Park for up to 700 staff. And at Waterbeach, the gene editing firm Horizon Discovery is about to move into this new building, having outgrown its old base. The building enabled us to expand the workforce from 150 to 250, so up to 100 new jobs in the area, all high-tech, high-skilled manufacturing jobs. Uh, the facility is effectively doubling our usable space at 31,000 square feet, and we're investing three to four million pounds in the infrastructure of the building. But while some firms are finding the space to grow, others aren't. Enough to worry the industry's lobby group. What we'll find with foreign direct investors or companies looking to build here, if they can't get what they want, they will look at other parts of the world, not necessarily the UK, Singapore, East West Coast US or others. 18,000 people already work in life sciences in this region. How many more are we prepared to make the space for? Richard Bond, BBC Look East.